hundred years from now, people are reading this book, are they going to get a more accurate picture of who Mehmet and Talleyrand and um, the Tsar and Tsarina were um, than people watching Shakespeare play um, get of the historical figures in there? I hope so. Because, for one thing, Shakespeare had to write to please the powers that be in his day. And there's nobody, I mean, he had to do a certain portrait of Richard III because that was the accepted view of Richard III because Queen Elizabeth's grandfather had defeated Richard III. Uh, there's nobody in forcing me to write a particular way about Metternich or the Tsar and Tsarina or Talleyrand or anybody else. So I'm trying to get them as accurate as possible um, based on what I know about them. So um, while I would, it, it seems it seems incredibly presumptuous to say I would do anything. I don't know if better is the right word, but than Shakespeare, um, I do hope that the image of these people is is somewhat closer to reality than the images of some real historical people are in Shakespeare plays. As brilliant as the as characters are in Shakespeare plays, Richard III in Shakespeare's play is a fabulous character. He just, to me, is. Mm, quite different from the actual Richard, Duke of Gloucester, who became Richard III. Do you think that historical accuracy, when including historical figures in fictional books, is important? And if so, why? I do think it's important. I mean, I think it's, for one thing, what, what's the point of, of writing about historical figures and historical events if you don't try to be accurate to me? Um, and I guess I feel like I owe it to the people. Um, to try to get them accurately. I, I, it's, a, it's something you struggle with because obviously if you're writing a fictional story you're going to and you're integrating real people into a story that involves fictional characters and some fictional events that not everything that, that the real historical people do will be things that they actually did in real life. But I try to stick to things that they might have done. Um, Talleyrand plotted and schemed a lot so and I struggled quite a bit in plotting this book with exactly what what it was and wasn't okay, at least in my own mind, to have him do, sort of how far he would go. And I was really struggling with how far the real Talleyrand, at least to me, might have gone. So um, in terms of what I ultimately had him involved with. If, I, if a real historical person was known to have had a lot of love affairs, I, I would feel okay having them have a fictional love affair in a book. If somebody was known to have been famously faithful to their husband or wife, and I would not then create a secret love affair and build a book around that with no historical evidence for it. I also do think that these are very powerful people with, with positions of power in the world, and I think you give up a certain amount of privacy if you have that kind, if you live that kind of a life. So I, I think you know I, you have some leeway in how you portray them, but I do try as much as I can to be true to what I know about these people and who they were, but they might have been.